This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Look folks, domain, website, online store, it really doesn't matter what you need, you can do it all over at squarespace.com. Tack on a forward slash science studio to get 10% off your first purchase, it's linked in this video's description. I'd like to preface this playlist with a bit of insight into why I even bother making these types of videos. These aren't science videos per se, they're just street smart videos. If you're new to PC building and you're interested in buying a new or used PC in either market, then I recommend watching a video like this. If you're going to shop on Facebook, on Craigslist, on eBay, anywhere else in the world for a used PC especially, be aware of when you're being scammed. That's not to say that everyone out there is going to rip you off. In fact, I would argue that more people than not are going to be genuinely interested in selling you a component, a PC, or something along those lines for a decent price because they know that it's either been just devalued over time or they need the cash quickly. So what I'm going to show you, mostly bad deals. There are a few good ones that I found, but Facebook marketplaces, that's littered with some garbage. So that's what this video is. I read terrible ads, Facebook marketplace edition by popular demand. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this. Now, for those who are not familiar, Facebook Marketplace is basically Craigslist. Just pretend it's Craigslist, but anybody anywhere can sell anything. First on our list, this is a $1,500 asking price gaming PC from Pensacola, Florida, 850 watt power supply, AMD FX 6300, and R9390 Volcano graphics card. Look, he's got a 250 gig SSD. Okay, not too bad, 16 gigs of RAM, but uh, there's really nothing appealing here, and I'm not sure where he's getting the $1,500 asking price. What do we have next here? Okay, custom built gaming developer workstation PC, asking price $2,835 from Dothan, Alabama. This is an oddly specific price for this PC, and uh, good game, you got yourself in the shot there. This PC utilizes the M.2 specification for its hard drive. That's not a hard drive, that's an M.2, it's a solid state drive, which means it's nearly 100 times faster than any HDD you can buy. Current pre-built computers don't even compare with M.2 available because it's such a new technology. Down to the specs, i7 7700K GTX 1080, 32 gigs of Trident Z DDR4, one terabyte M.2. Okay, he didn't cheap out on the M.2, that's for sure. Uh, we got an HX 850i 850 watt power supply. He put it in a 570X from Corsair. That's really the extent of the build though. And he's asking for nearly three grand. Just in case you're new to PCs, terrible deal. Here we go, $450 gaming PC for low to medium games, GTX 660, eight gigs of RAM. Not sure what the CPU is. You should probably list that if you're gonna sell a computer like this. It looks like an AMD cooler. So I'm gonna assume maybe like an FX 6300 or FX 4300. I can't really tell. Oh, this is good though. Can throw in the 320 gig hard drive for the right price. That, that hard drive's gonna cost like $10. Jesus, all right, let's go on. Uh, ooh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a gaming PC. He's pretty straight up about it. He's not trying to be sly or anything. I'm not sure what the value of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards are. I haven't played in a long time, but 420 bucks should get him a decent starter rig if he can find some used parts. Uh, that's really all I wanted to show you here. It's pretty funny. All right, what do we have here? $2,500 gaming PC. This rig can play in 1440p at no ease and also 4K. 6700K at 4.5 gigahertz, Intel SSD, 400 gig uh, hard drive. It's not a hard drive though, it's an SSD. There's a difference. Hard drives are not solid state drives, totally different. 16 gigs of RAM, 750 watt power supply and a GTX 1080. All right, but I'm looking for what he has in this rig that's making him come to the conclusion that it's worth $2,500. All right, now I thought this one was pretty cool at first glance. He's got an i7-7700K in there, two GTX 1080 Ti's, an NZXT S340 Elite, custom loop, looks really clean, right? And then I found out that he's only including one graphics card when you buy it. With only one 1080 Ti, sorry dude, not gonna cut it. Custom gaming PC, workstation computer, Intel Core i5. I don't know if you can call a computer with an i5 in it a workstation PC, seems a little clickbaity to me. Three, eight gig six of RAM, nothing wrong with that, it's just kinda weird. Uh, 1070, a 760T case, a one terabyte SSD, a CX850M power supply. He's including Windows 10, that's good. Eight fans, and uh, let's see, I don't think he's including this 144 hertz 4K monitor. Nope, he's not. Oh, apparently he sells them on the side. Interesting, $2,200, my conclusion is nay. What is this? PC parts, i7 gaming PC, all right, so the CPU and motherboard must be sold together. That kind of makes sense, right? Uh, i7 4790K and an Asus Maximus Hero 7 
So he wants 270 bucks for that. This is actually a pretty solid deal here. That i7, that's Haswell, but you could still probably squeak out around 200 bucks. That's, I think, a fair price for an older i7, but even that Haswell's not that old. So anywhere in the 200s is solid for an i7. Plus he's including the motherboard basically free of charge or just really cheap, which is nice. I wonder if he's including the RAM though, because that's not in this list. Maybe he's just moving that to a different build. Uh, but that alone, just the $270 for that combo is pretty cool. $750 gaming PC in Tallahassee, Florida can run many games at max settings. You know this is good when he starts the whole ad off with this sentence here. 16 gigs of RAM, FX 8350, kind of saw that coming. And let's see, he's got an NVIDIA GTX 660 and a GT610. Was he using one for physics? 850 Pro, 256 gig SSD and a 1.8 terabyte hard disk drive. $750 is uh, not gonna cut it. What do we have here? T5810 gaming PC. Pretty sure that's a Xeon rig. That's, that's a server build, not necessarily a gaming rig. I'll have to double check on that. 64 gigs of RAM, sounding more like a server than anything else. One terabyte solid state drive and a GTX 1070 video card. Price is not negotiable. Th this whole build just doesn't make sense. Oh, and with that classic UV green coolant, did we? Up for sale here is a PC I built from the ground up. I've been building computers for almost 20 years and let's see plastic dip the case so he put a lot of time and effort in this had plexiglass custom cut lga 4820k 16 gigs of corsair dom plats he's got two 980s in sli interesting an asus rrg rampage 4 black edition lga 2011 motherboard and a bunch of fans he's got a corsair HX1000i for absolutely no reason 250 gigabytes samsung ssd 840 pro I'm more or less just concerned about the value of the custom loop gear. I'm wondering if he's accounting for all of those costs or if he's kind of giving us a discount here. It'd be difficult to break it all down, but he's got a lot of stuff going on in here. I don't recommend anyone looking to buy a PC pre-built go with a custom loop rig. It's just, it's really hard for me to recommend that because this is gonna require so much maintenance in the long run. This is a gaming PC and monitor, McKinney, Texas, $1,000. Bought this gaming PC and monitor in June, just don't use anymore, okay. Works great, will send specs to serious buyers. Are you kidding me? Why on earth would you even bother posting an ad if you're not gonna list the specifications? Really, it's just more work for both of us. Just make it simple. I'm gonna assume this is just a terrible build because you're too shy to put the specs on screen. Brand new high-end gaming desktop. This is uh, it's actually near my hometown, Panama City Beach, Florida, $2,000. Amazing custom build gaming desktop. This will shred any game and it's ready for 4K gaming or VR. i7 7700K gigabyte gaming motherboard. A little sketched out though by the motherboard because it doesn't look like a top tier board. I'm curious as to whether or not that is even a Z270 board, it might be a B250 board, I'll have to check. He's got one 16 gig stick of DDR4, it's a little strange, three terabyte hard disk drive, 500 gig SSD, a gigabyte Aorus, 1080, a 650 watt power supply, Hue Plus, and the Corsair Crystal 460X. Oh, but check this out. He hasn't installed it yet, but he's planning on putting in a nice Wi-Fi card. I love this, I gotta rant for a second here. Never been overclocked or abused. So you're telling me that you have a 7700K in your rig with an aftermarket CPU cooler and you never tinkered with the overclock. Either that or this guy's doing the same thing the guy in the last video did where he just paired an unlocked CPU with a locked chipset so he can't overclock even if he wants to. We got a custom 4K gaming PC from Woodway, Texas, $1,500 asking price, but this one I did a little research beforehand. He actually priced it out fairly. So he's got an i5-7600K, which will do decent in games. Not the best, but it's close. Two GTX 1080s and SLI, and then he's got uh, what uh, two terabytes of hard disk drives in RAID 0. Those are the two on the basement, and he's got a 120-gig SSD for the operating system, NZXT Kraken X52, and he's accepting PayPal for those interested. Yeah, I gotta say, this one really isn't a bad deal. If you want to buy a monitor from him, he's also selling that, so... Uh, I want to hit this guy up, seriously, I mean, for the two graphics cards alone, especially with the mining craze the way it is, although graphics card prices are starting to go down just a little bit, at least on the 1080 side, because they're not the best mining cards, uh, hash per watt anyway, this is still a decently priced PC. Now to end this video, I want to show you how I was searching through Facebook Marketplace, maybe you want to do something similar on your channel or just in your spare time, find some decent deals out there, they do exist on this, uh, on this site. You can uh, sign into your Facebook account. It is required actually to do anything here. If you don't sign in, then it's not gonna let you search. Uh, it will probably pull your location, but you can search really anywhere. So let's type in uh, Seattle, Washington. And there we go. 
Now you can type in what you're looking for. Let's do gaming PC. And the top searches should have to do with uh, what you were looking for. Ooh, here we go. This is a juicy one. So ultimate gaming PC, 4K and virtual reality ready. GTX 1080 custom loop. So you see my point? Super simple to use. I invite you to just give it a shot. See what you can find in your local area. So we've seen the good, the few that I showed, the bad. There were plenty of those to choose from and the ugly. Now what I want you to do, this is my call to action in this video, is to go onto your local Facebook marketplace, type in gaming PC or something along those lines and see what kind of deals you can find if any exist at all my takeaway from this facebook marketplace it's got a lot of crap i'd say as much if not more crap than craigslist and that's saying something if you like this video be sure to give this one a thumbs up i do appreciate that also leave suggestions for future i read videos on this playlist and click the subscribe button that red button down below to see more videos like this in the future this is science studio thanks for learning with us